Greetings, Battle Gardeners! I'm Cross Knight, and this is Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies number two. Now, a lot of people were excited that I was playing this. I, I figured there would be, I just I just didn't want to presume, but, um... I mean, it's possible, like, half of my subscribers came from Plants vs. Zombies, so... <laughs> need to remember that. They want me to visit my Zen Garden. I see you found a sprout. Maybe if you water it, you'll get some coins. At least, I think that's how it works. So plant a sprout. You don't get to choose what sprouts. Looks like it was a, um, a marigold. Marigolds were in the first game, but they work a little bit differently here. If you wait a while, your marigold will grow. But you can speed up the process with gems. No, nope, they just gave me a crap ton of gems. So instead of waiting 15 minutes, we can click this, and we got some gold. And water it again. Each plant gets watered twice. Then use the gems that they gave me instead of waiting five hours, and this time we get gold instead of silver. So now I have a thousand gold. And this is a really good way to get money, to always keep on planting and then, you know, waiting. This is another uh, tablet type thing, though, where you actually have to wait. But that first one's only going to take 15 minutes. Maybe by the end... Oh, this bee, like... I think this bee, uh... Yeah, the bee decreases the amount of time that you have to wait. But uh, then he gets tired, so you can't just keep on doing it. But I don't have any more sprouts. You get those through playing. There we go. I did yesterday's pinata event. That's why I have a little check mark here. And during that event, I actually got a costume. So you click here. And you notice he has a little headband now. <laughs> and you can take that off if you don't like it. But I do like it, so I'm going to keep it. I didn't get much feedback on whether I should do the pin pinata events, but I think I'll show at least this one. I might not do all of them. We'll see. But they are specialized events that only last for that day. And this one actually introduces me to a plant that I didn't know about before called the escape root. So the escape root allows you to switch places with it so you can move plants around, which is useful for single lane charging, firing, things like that plant, which we haven't been introduced to yet. But we're going to be introduced to it right now. It's a very useful plant that you don't get to a lot later, actually. But it fires a gigantic burst that does massive damage to zombies. And I can use the escape route to switch places. And now it'll fire at this, um, this zombie over here. And this thing I just unlocked, actually, in the main playthrough. A zombie hits it, and they get a little bit frozen. It's actually quite useful. So he's going to be... Boom. I mean, it's not amazingly useful, to be honest, but it doesn't cost, like, any... It costs zero sun to use. Oh, God. All right, he almost killed that thing, and that's irreplaceable in this stage, so that would have been terrible. Uh, we're actually going to take this escape route and move him. I, oh, you know what? I really don't want this zombie to get there, so... Okay, good. Um, let's put another blocker here. And we definitely want to stop that guy from being a jerk. Now, let me use this escape route... Just switch it again so I can fire at the sarcophagus. Because that sarcophagus is a jerk. Put another escape route. This is just so that I can switch this thing. And use its amazing, incredible power. Now there's a lot of little zombies on screen, so... Let's clear them out. I got two plant food for that. Cool. Um, escape route. No, it already fired. Oh. The, uh, the charged up this thing is actually really power- Oh, what is this? This is a stupid emulated games. I don't know how to get rid of that. <laughs> I already clicked it like twice and it keeps on appearing. It's like I don't own the actual- Alright, I'm gonna use it. This is gonna fire a really powerful blast that clears that entire lane. However, certain things it can't clear away. So it's not gonna kill a Gigantor. It's not gonna kill one of these, actually. Those are a robot from the future stage. So they're not gonna be around for a while. Uh-oh. I don't have anything in that other lane. Um... Escape route, blocker, and let's give him the old switcheroo. And then clear it out! Whoop! Oh, that's right, I just said that it doesn't actually kill those things, it just does damage. Oh well, <laughs> let's clear out the small guys at least. Let's move him. I did it a little bit too late, but now the charge up shot will fire at this guy. Let's slow him down. That would be good. Let's put another pult here. This stage isn't very hard. Some of them are actually pretty hard, I gotta say. But, uh, this pinata event wasn't too rough at all. Now, as soon as the cabbage kills this guy, 
I'm going to take his plant food and use it to do hilarious things. Alright. Let's kill out all the small guys. And there are mostly just small guys left, so that's good. And, uh, I mean, I can... Oh, there we go. What the... Alright, apparently the escape route explodes when things get close to it. I, I forgot about that. So now I pick random pinatas. Alright, I got two sprouts and 1,000 gold. And, you know, you generally hope... No, I don't want to play again. That's a new thing. I don't know if playing again actually gives you more pinatas or not, but meh. Um, yeah, it's a new thing where you can uh, replay it. I just... Meh. But the best you can hope for from those stages are costumes, because those are unique. And um, also... Uh, oh, he's talking about boosted plants now. It's also for... Um, oh, it's another tutorial, isn't it? You guys aren't going to let me do what I want to. I can just explain this stuff, you know? You don't have to walk me through it. Ah, oh, Penny's back. Alright, she's giving me some gems. I don't know why she doesn't just give me gems all the time. She just has them. Alright, some moolah. Water again. And this is another aspect where the game gets incredibly unbalanced. Uh, I mean, yeah, whatever. This is going to make the nest level hilariously easy. So, boost means that every time you plant a plant, it starts out as if you had just given it a plant food. So, it's ridiculous. So this will be for the uh, bloomerang, so that'll be nice. So again, if you're having trouble with the stage, having a boosted plant is extremely useful. Alright, so, this next stage should be easy because I have a boosted sunflower now. Alright, cross this trip to ancient Egypt. So I'm going to use the boosted fun sunflower because I don't have a choice. You don't have to activate the boost. I usually just do because meh. And we're going to use the iceberg lettuce, which will freeze people. I think that'll be good. I'm going to leave this, I guess, just because I want to show off the iceberg lettuce. But otherwise, I would rather actually take the that than uh, what I'm taking. But watch as I... Oh, oh for God's sakes. If you want to use a power up, up, you can buy some one coins. Just chop it up. Got it. Okay, so... Boom! The sunflower's power when you give it plant food is it gives you more sun. So now each time I plant it, it's going to give me 200 sun. So again, I don't have any like crazy expensive plants, but I'll be able to build whatever I want pretty much. Going to put a bloomerang down there. Yeah. But this row will be all uh, regular pea shooters, and then we'll have the bloomerangs. All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wreck. We're gonna wreck houses. All all of the houses. I mean I guess planting these only gives you a hundred sun now that I think about it, because it costs fifty to plant one. And uh you can just plant like these these the sunflowers don't matter, I'm just planting them for sun. I don't care if they get eaten. <laughs> I just need the space. I mean I practically got enough sun to to just is the whole level right now. Alright, bloomerang there. Gravestones are being pummeled. Here you go, eat that. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Alright, my bloomerang army has come. Now these guys are specifically set up to uh, be affected by the bloomerang. They're just three zombies that wander around. I think they all have the strength of like a conehead zombie. But the bloomerang hits all of them, so the fact that there's three of them doesn't actually give them any advantage. I might... Oh, and also I should show the secret power of the Iceberg Lettuce. Bam! Everyone who is on the screen currently will be frozen. For a decent amount of time, too. I actually don't need that one cramping my style. No one's going to step in it all the way over there. Bloom! Let's put this here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna get past me. I'm just gonna put a second, complete my second row of uh, bloom, and then we're gonna speed her up. Freeze! Excellent. Ah! Yep, extremely easy. I mean, it's not a hard stage anyway, but 
with the uh, with the enhanced like resource flower. That's it's crazy. So getting a getting a boost on a resource flower is just really useful. So I got a present. It's a costume. <laughs> now my potato nines have a fancy ninja mask, so they can't be seen. Not the zombies are smart enough to avoid them anyway. All right, match the symbols to destroy zombies. Well, this is gonna be a weird mini game. Generally, each world has one. Oh, good. There's no zombies here. False. They're using camouflage. You mean they're using camouflage? Sure. So it's a it's a memory matching game. It's gotta match the symbols, and you will destroy that section of zombie is. And that's a cone. That is not a cone. They just can't stand being matched. It breaks their little brains. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, that was also lucky. Uh, there we are. This one wasn't a sun, right? Yeah, that was a cone. That's a sun, though. Need another cone. There we are. Alright, so these two. Alright, not so bad. Not so bad. Ooh, the luck! Of the devil! At Cross Knights, he's got the devil's luck, they say. Sun somewhere. There's another sun. There's another, another sun, and another, other, other sun. There hasn't been a cone in a long time, though. There it is. This. You are a sun. I thought you were a sun. Our huge wave of zombies is approaching, and the, the remaining zombies are walking faster, so I gotta be careful. There are no, um,. Oh god, my brain. There are no um, lawnmowers on this part either, you don't have a safety net. Alright, we got him. Got him! Day 7 crushed. Looks like we're receiving a note of some kind. What could it be? No, oh, it's a weird hieroglyphy thing. My gurgle translator indicates that zombies have a plan. Is that a brain on the grill? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Grilled brains. All right, next level. Okay, that that that's trippy. Oh my God, it's Doctor Zomboss. Greetings, temporal commuters. Special couriers have been dispatched to retrieve your brains. Please have your release form signed upon their arrival. Regards, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. Cool! That Mr. Boss guy wants your autograph. This can't be good. This is a middle of the world stage. They are all the same. Conveyor belt stage while surviving a gigantic massive amount of zombies. Now I say they might they're all the same. But all of them might have, like, a different theme. Note he's automatically been equipped with my fancy ninja mask. But yeah, the stage might have different rules or, or things that are indicative of the stage that make it a little bit different. Boomerang here. I should have put that farther out. That was actually crazy how far I put that back. Um, blocker on the fourth row, we'll say. Anything further than that is where I'll put my potato mines. I'll actually put this here to slow him down. Gotcha. Going pretty slowly so far, and I don't have every lane defended. Now, I have every lane defended but one, though some of them only have temporary defenses. Let's put you there. I would love to get rid of this gravestone. Alright, good. We can start in on that already. So, that's a guy that I certainly want to have a potato mine hit. Hopefully, I'll get another one of those. 
Doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll just do delaying tactics forever then. Forever delayed. Oh my. They're coming in on tornadoes. That can't be a good thing. There's finally something on the top lane. Let's just I'm just gonna delete this potato mine because I put it in a dumb spot. Let's put that there, yeah, that, that poor uh, metal guy is just getting thrashed. Now let's just send out a burst. There we go, that hardly did any damage to them. Actually, probably did damage to them, it just didn't break them to the point where their animation changed so it looked like they had no damage. And ah, what the hell. This might be a bad idea, but meh. <laughs> gonna hurt. I don't think I'm gonna need the plant food in like a pinch or anything. I don't think anything too crazy is gonna happen. By the way, you can- oh, why did I do that? You can, um... You can place plants in one of two ways. You can drag them with your finger, or you can click the plant and then click the place that you want it to go. I usually just drag it, it just... my brain likes it better that way. And there's definitely a giant mass of zombies, but I ain't too worried as of yet. Are they gonna send tornadoes after me? Yep, sandstorm! Ha! Boom! <laughs> you thought you were getting ahead by moving up like that, but I punked ya. I'm just gonna send a few more mines back there, I think. Okay, there's a Gigantor. Pow, pow! So for him, I'm gonna see if I can time this right. Uh, I lost my mouse cursor, like I couldn't see it for a second. Alright, well, um, this is a little bit more dire than I wanted to be, because he's getting closer. Oh, he's frozen though. Okay, if they just give me a boomerang, I can do something magical. There it is. Pow! There, I just hurt him a whole bunch, hopefully. Let's freeze delay him. Oh god, that little imp is getting past. Well, screw that imp and screw anyone else who would try that crap. Oh god, I just got so much plant food. That was definitely worth it. Alright. Boomerang attack number two. Focused fire on gigantic zombie jerk. And double time! <laughs> the thing is, if he's close enough at a certain angle, I believe he gets hit by the up and down ones too. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Now, I was hoping that'd kill a few people to give me more plant food immediately, but it didn't. But I don't don't really need it, so it's fine. Yeah. And there he is again. Wait for him to start smashing, and ha! Plants that you're using plant food on, by the way, are invincible, but like really only temporarily. All right, he's frozen. We're gonna uh, stack the stack the lane to try to hit him as many times as possible. Let's freeze him. <laughs> he's, he's going to throw the imp. I, and if you just keep on putting uh, iceberg lettuce down, he will keep on hitting it. Oh, but he got the imp off. Well, if the imp destroys this, I'll just freeze him. He probably will. Yeah, frozen. Clear this out of the way. Oh, okay. Is it, like, sometimes a certain type of plant will stop coming, and if you want it to come again on the conveyor belt, you have to delete the ones that you already have, because there might be a limit of uh, how many they allow there to be on the screen at once. It gets to the point where if you have them all out, like, plants might just stop coming on the conveyor belt. Looks like the courier had his own delivery to make. These will be useful for traveling to other times. Yeah! Time to try the taco map! There is no taco map. There's a time map, damn it. There's things that are more important than your taco. Like love. Alright, so I can unlock- Oh, they want me to unlock it. I'll just unlock it. I ain't going to it, though. So, this is the pirate seas. I can now go to that world if I wish to. New epic quest available. Win world keys. Oh, completed. Am I gonna get a fancy prize? I didn't get a fancy prize. Um, let's see. Defeat basic lost city zombies. I don't have any of these yet, so... This is just kind of mocking me. Epic quest to rescue the gold bloom. Complete each step of the epic quest chain for an awesome reward. 
Let's see, Gold Bloom produces a burst of sun all at once. I don't think I have the Gold Bloom on my main file. This must be a newer plant. But I did stop playing quite a while ago, so that makes sense. There's also a premium plant. By the way, I kind of made a mistake last time. I mentioned that I used premium currency on certain stages. I was really just talking about coins, and coins are not premium currency. Uh, the gems are premium currency. But I do want to state it that I beat the entire game without spending money on the game. A lot of games like this let you get premium currency in really small amounts, or just buy it. And I just played so long that I had a massive amount of premium currency. But yeah, the currency I was talking about was the non-premium regular coins. Which, you know, it's different. It is important to make that distinction. You do not need to pay money to beat this game. But it does make it a lot easier. So, getting more money here, and we're gonna plant another Marigold. Yeah, Marigolds just give you money. They don't, like, they're not boosted, they don't appear in the main game like they did in the other one. Also, this game has Vase Breaker, which is cool. It's a little Vase Breaker minigame. Uh, it's kind of just for fun, though. Like, it doesn't it doesn't affect the story, and it doesn't affect anything outside of Vase Breaker. I don't think you get any awards that affect any other part of the game. I will be recording that eventually, I just don't know when. Okay, new type of zombie introduced. The, uh... Oh, I see. I was hoping I could actually click on the individual zombies like I could in the first game. Um, those zombies are really dangerous. They can cause you to lose the game pretty quick. It is recommended that you have a freezing attack to counter them. Basically, instead of eating your flowers, they use their torch to... Tur torch. They use their torch to just instantly kill it. So they can just run all the way to the back, essentially. Like, the, the walnuts don't stop them either. They just torch them. It's a very dangerous plan. Uh, zombie. <laughs> if it was a dangerous plant, I'd be all for it. Sunflower. I'm gonna wait. Oh, the, these again uh, cost zero to put out, so there's no reason to not put them out. They just cost recharge time. They just cost patience. And I don't know why I brought that. I should have brought the uh, the spud. Because there's no reason to bring the, the pea shooter and the, the uh, cabbage bulb. But I did. So that's just the way it is, bras. Let's put another one here. I mean, that's not going to stop him for very long. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Brains. I don't know. I just, in my heart, I just wanted all um, bloom blooms on the front line. So I'm just ignoring the other ones, even though I could build them as temporary defenses. I think that's fine. Just one more, and we got this down here. Yeah, I mean, the strategy's not the best, especially in, <laughs> I'm being encroached upon. Actually, no one's in, in, in this lane. Oh, it'd be nice if I just had a nice but Alright, there's the guy. This is the guy that will destroy everything. Everything that I love and hold dear. Uh, unless you put something that freezes people. There are a few other plants that freeze. Not many, but a few. He is susceptible to all of them, because if he gets frozen, not only does he freeze, but his... Well, his torch goes out. It also goes out if you blow his head off. But if that hadn't happened, <laughs> then my contingency plan would have actually been warranted. Let's put another defense right here. Huh? Cool. Well, now that I've built up a large amount of sun, I think I might uh, delete a few of these and add some more bloomerangs. I do want to show this. Boom! See, his torch went out. He just, without his torch lit, he is a regular zombie. Not a threat. With his torch lit, though, boom! That crap happens. Very dangerous. It was a trap! Rawr! <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, alright, good. That guy was getting way too close. We just put out one cabbage pult. Bam! Get rid of the riffraff. Concentrate on my true enemies. And was that, was that, yeah, the wave went off, didn't it? Yeah, these guys are toast. Undead zombie toast. The grossest of all the toast. 
delete. What was what was what was that? I don't know if you could hear that. I didn't like that noise. That was creepy. All right. <laughs> Oh boy, was that my phone? Was that was that the emulator? I don't know. It was really loud though. Wasn't my phone? Yeah, alright, great. Oh, all types of issues with tablet recording, you gotta say. But now we have the Grave Buster. Is it still called the Grave Buster? It is still called the Grave Buster. Planted on a grave to remove the grave. So now those stupid graves won't be nearly as much of a problem. Alright. This might be the last stage I do this episode, I'm not sure. But, alright, let's pick a little bit more intelligently. We want you, we want you, we want you, the Grave Buster, a blocker, a freezer, a lover, a sneezer. We actually, I mean, there's no there's no fire, guys, alright, I'm not gonna take this. Instead, I want a cabbage pulp and a boomy boom boom boom. Boom 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 boom. So... Start getting our plants up, and as soon as I can, I will start busting some graves. Because again, it only costs recharge time. Busted! Rawr! Grave Buster! Alright, and uh, let's put up a cabbage pulp. I don't think I'm gonna go crazy uh, resource mode this time, I don't need that. You are unable to understand the power of the ninja potato, but now you know. For a true battle gardener always trains his potatoes in the art of ninjutsu. You need to remember this. It's pretty much the thing they teach you on the first day. Ninjutsu, ninjutsu potatoes. Number one defensive guy. Yep. Okay, did he just... Oh, okay. Um, weird pharaoh zombies. I don't think they're actually called weird pharaoh zombies, but they make gravestones. If I remember right, they like throw bones on the ground and those bones turn into gravestones. It is quite annoying. But that's why you want the grave buster, because otherwise there's going to be friggin' graves everywhere. I could certainly use some plant food. I mean, I'm actually feeling a little bit of pressure on this stage. I was a little bit lack lackadaisical in my defenses. Um, but I'm still fine, it's just this is the first time I've felt any type of pressure. That bottom row is a problem. So, wait, I'm gonna wait for him to eat that, I shouldn't have even placed that there. Jim! <laughs> Back when both me and my girlfriend were playing this, like, anytime we would get a gem, we would just call it out excitedly. Oh, he's got plant food, give it to me. I really want to launch off a cabbage barrage, excellent. Cabbage? Barrage! Oh, if only I'd waited a split second, I could have taken out that sandstorm, but alas. And since there's not walls there yet, I'm gonna double up on my, uh... My bloom defense. Or attack, rather. Cool. Might as well put a mine here. I guess I didn't really need those potato mines, did I? But, eh. I didn't not not need them. Let's put three here. It's basically on this stage, it's a little bit risky to have double sunflowers to the, to the point where it's going to push your defenses out further. And the sandstorm guys can sometimes go all the way to here, all the way to here. So they'll just fly into your plants and start eating them. It's kind of like the uh, disco, or, you know, for Plants vs. Zombies originalist, the Michael Jackson zombie. That uh, would just, like, dance really far into your defenses before stopping. Alright, well that's just going to get eaten, but whatever. Note, at any time with my money... I can use these special powers, like the freeze power, or, or those other ones that I showed you initially. And that would help immensely, but, you know, I generally want to hold off as much as possible on this. So yeah, this is the first one where they might actually get through a little bit. I really need that to activate, or to, to die. I need the Conehead Zombie to die. Unfortunately, he's kind of being hit by a Bloomerang guy pretty rough, so I'm going to eliminate that, which could be unwise, but... I think I have enough to... Like, this is the final wave. I can't lose anymore. All that could happen is I could eat my plants and get through to the, uh... Oh, yes. Here we go. I mean, this lane is so concerning, I'm just gonna use it on here instead of using a cabbage bulb. There we are. Uh, can I save it? Yes. All right. He's eating the... He's eating the wall now. Yeah, no, this is getting a little bit intense here. And I'm not gonna use money this early, damn it. I could just let them, uh, roll through. <laughs> 
but none of them have plant food right yeah. Alright, so anywhere that has a uh, cabbage pulse will be replaced with a bloomerang. Alright. Uh, oh god. Oh god, they ate it. Alright, I can just replace that too. They're gonna take care of that wall really fast. Metal guy's dead, so that's nice. Um, oh, what I should have been doing is this. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever, they're getting through. I can accept that. Or can I? Or do I just keep fighting the good fight forever? Until my last plant falls! I think that's what I do. Yeah, it's not even hitting the back guy, this. I shouldn't even care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh no. Ah, get set, go away. Here. Here. Alright. <laughs> you go ahead. You know what? You've earned eating that plant. You can you can have it. It's all yours. Yeah, go chop it down. There you go. You know what? Eat my brains too. You've earned it. Just go right on. You have a clear path. <laughs> I was lying to him. I am made entirely out of lies. Alright, so. When this thing lights up, that means that you have a plant that can be uh, either planted or watered. And since I have sprouts, it's probably the reason. But I can I can water that. It's not going to be ready for three hours. Make that two hours. And we're going to plant you, and we're going to plant you. Oh, so you can open new slots for gems. Okay, that's actually a good thing to spend gems on. Now, this is a really good power-up, the iceberg lettuce. Because, again, it's completely free... And that means every time you use it, every zombie on the stage gets frozen, which is, you know, obviously very useful. You do, 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 do. Pwing, ting. Cool. I think this is going to be my last stage for the video, and I should get a present for it, which is, could be another outfit. Won't be as cool as the potato ninja mask, though. This level is a locked coordinate in time. You must take these plants to win. Otherwise, you risk distorting reality. Never distort reality! You'll pull something! Alright, survive the zombie attack with the plants given. Now, in true free-to-play fashion, sometimes they will introduce things to stages that make it far harder and more unfair than it needs to be. This is not one of those cases. This is just a random element to mix up gameplay, but they'll have things like if zombies get to like here, you lose instantly. And, like, crap, that just makes it way harder. Then they have the protected plant thing, where if they'll have, like, a plant, like, here or something, and if the zombie destroys it, you lose. And, you know, in one aspect, it's kind of interesting. It, it creates some variety. In another aspect, another aspect is it's, like, massively unfair most of the time. But, you know, gotta take the good with the bad sometimes in these, uh, these free freedom mobiles. Whatever. I'll develop rules for the limited amount of currencies that I'm allowed to use, just so I don't, like, steamroll over, over all, all, um, all of the levels. I'll also try not to, like, earn a whole bunch of money on, uh, off days. But I'm probably gonna have to do the piñata levels every day if I want to get the big piñatas. Because I'm playing a weird game that's, like, time-sensitive time now. That's not the norm. Alright, so he's... An issue. Let's, uh, it's gonna instantly kill him, whatever. We got him. I don't know if that was worth just using on him, but it might have been. <laughs> it's possible. Who knows? There. So you're frozen. I'm, I'm gonna have some issues up top really soon. Do I have any plant food here? Looks like no, so he's gonna tear through my lane, and I don't think I can do much about it. But that's okay, it'll be the first lawnmower that I lose. I can deal with that. Unless I can just keep on stalling him. Forever. <laughs> Screw that, I ain't losing no lawnmowers this day. Actually, now he's a problem. Oh boy. Alright, well my plan is to get rid of this. You notice all those powers on the bottom, the preserve powers are blinking to be like, you're in trouble, man. Just remember, you can use them and spend your coins and then run out of coins and then, like, you'll want to buy more coins. It's all a trick. An extremely effective trick. Um, I, now I can't even hit them. Alright, I'm losing that top lawnmower, aren't I? And also... Ooh. 
I didn't even realize, but um, the I mean, this isn't this isn't the final wave, so it's actually not good if they get past my defenses this early. Let's just put another one here. We can delay them. If I can just delay them until the final wave. That would be good too. Uh, I think I have enough to do this. All right, what can I do? Hmm. All right, let's see here. This should hit a lot of guys. Was that enough, though? Was that enough to to sustain a good defense on most lanes? I don't know. All right, that one's gone. That one's gone. So I need to defend those lanes more heavily than other ones. But I think I'm still fine. I mean, I still have lawnmowers. All right, this is an issue right there. So what we're going to do is put this here and then this here. This will cause all of them to be grouped together because they'll be stuck on the wall. And then the potato mine should blow them all up at once, which is a very good strategy, I would say. Cool. And I have that. That's good. All right, did they break through? Yes. So we also want to do that on... Um, let's put this here. Delay that, that jerk. Now later on I'll have a thing where I can activate a lawnmower, which is extremely useful. I don't have... Oh, crap. Um, crap. I might lose if I wasn't paying attention. I really don't want to use money yet, damn it. I really don't, but I might have to. Yeah, and that... Oh, God. All right. <sighs> That's what I get. Do it... No, I'll, I'll just do the stage over again before I use money this early, actually. This is my fault for not, uh... I mean, I, I mounted a bad defense. Yeah. So this will be my first look. Like, again, I, I mentioned one of the reasons I didn't want to play the original Plants vs. Zombies was because it was too easy. And, I mean, I'll give it this game this. It's this, That's not this game. Because <laughs> they want to convince you to buy premium currency. Also, it's not as cool when you lose, because in the other game, he would actually walk into your house. But this one, he just starts eating, like, the floor, which is a little bit weird. But alright, I'm going to start like mid-stage. Hopefully I'll mount a better defense so that I don't have to, uh... Like, I was like, I could use money. I could use money right now, but no, it's too early. I can do this without money, I know I can. Just got to play smarter. So, alright, my first method of playing smarter is I'm going to change how much sun power I'm getting because I was not getting a satisfactory amount. Alright, I think this is better already. I have a lot more doubles. Um... I'm not, I was going to delete a sunflower. Instead, I'll just put this in front of it for now. I can always change my defenses later. So, it's the, bu it's the bucket zombies that did me in, really. So, what I want to do is set up a system of defenses that have potato mines immediately behind them. Because then people will group up and get exploderated, which is desirable. Highly, highly desirable. You know what? Just collect those for me. I'll, I'll collect them later. You do the hard work for me, Gam. I kind of just put that pea shooter down as desperation because he was getting way too close. And he already got past the place where I wanted to set up my defenses. Should be enough though his arm is already off. There we are. Alright. There we are. Oh, another raw zombie's already trying to steal my stuff. Jerks. The jerks that these guys are. We got two guys down there. Let's put another one right there. Let's put this right here. So in that stage, instead of uh, setting up my explody defense, which is going to kill those guys, um, hopefully just I'll, I'll be able to kill them by raw attack power. Um, top clearly isn't nearly well enough to defend, and I'm actually going to delete that and do this. Is that going to activate in time? No, it did not. All right, I really need this to get up. Good. Do that, and my next uh, my next exploderator will go right there. Put this here to take care of those camouflaged zombies. But this here, just in case it gets past that. You can already see, this is going much better. The issue <laughs> was that I was not taking things seriously, and I'm already at the point where I apparently need to take things seriously. Who knew? Not I. My hubris destroyed me. But not again. At least, not in this video. In other videos, you have problems, definitely. <laughs> you kidding me? Almost definitely. Um... Good. Let's get another one. Alright, I really just didn't place this where I should have. You go here. You go here. And they've broken through. I'm actually going to let him hit that. Because I don't need him messing around. Now we can attack the zombies I actually want to attack. 
Another metal zombie here. I don't know if I have enough attack power to kill him normally, but if I don't, he will be destroyed. Ugh. It's just, it's just sun recycling with these guys. They just keep on stealing it from me. Yeah, we got that. Um, I should replace... Ah, I have enough sun. We're gonna replace this with another boomerang. He got through, boom. So again, this is the strategy... This is the strategy I think they wanted me to use, was to make walls filled with potato mines in the back so that it would group them together, and then death would happen. Now, there's no reason I shouldn't use some plant food here, I think. Oh, did that not... Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> didn't do it fast enough right there. There. I think that hit all those metal zombies. I'm not entirely sure. This is actually getting a little bit dire on the metal zombie front. Um, that row's good. This row's good. This row's not as good. Oh, we got another one of these, though. So let's try it. Hra! Uh, that killed some of them. Fortunately, uh... Oh, wow, all right! I, I didn't have to use the potato mine. It's fixed. This row is currently a bit undefended, so I'm a little bit... Oh, this is the final wave! I did it! All right, everything's fine. Don't matter what happens now. Oh my god, so much sun. Not that I need any of it. I, I set up my resources prior... I did everything right this time. So... Even on stages, like, it, it might have... If, unless you played and you were yelling at me to do different things. It might have looked, like, really hard and hopeless there, but you just gotta change your strategy sometimes. Sometimes, though, it's really hard and nearly hopeless. <laughs> and... Then you really have to nature strategies, but that wasn't this time. It's not quite that hard yet. Um, we're gonna replace this with a potato mine. Oh, the potato mines are, like, not even charged. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, hmm. Put this here. That'll give me enough time. Put this here. And they're not gonna all group together, though, are they? Hmm. Yeah, because the other guys are just waiting behind there. Oh, well. Now we got two bloomerangs. That should be hitting all of them. I don't think they're even gonna get to the potato mine. Yep, now there's just one left. You lost your camouflage! Down with you. All right, and I got a present. Hopefully, it's a shiny new costume. Because I love those. I I had I had way more sun than I needed there, didn't I? I got a power toss. So sometimes uh, you you don't have to pay money for those power ups because you can get them in gifts or other ways. Do 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 do. But yeah, that is all for uh, for this episode. Next time we'll be going to level 12. And then, oh god, I love this guy. Bunk Choi. Rapidly punches nearby enemies. He's one of my favorite plants and he is completely new. And yeah, this first level... Got a long way to go. Before we get to uh, the boss. And then I will be done with it. And we will go on to the pirate stage, which is significantly harder. This is the easiest stage, guys. The, like... And some stages have gimmicks that are completely ridiculous and borderline unfair, but... Until then, I am Cross Knights, the Battle Gardener. I hope, uh, if... By the way, if you if you haven't played this game and you have, um, and you started, tell me your experience with it. Is it, like, too hard for you? Is it too... Why do I have nine keys? What the... <laughs> are you kidding me? How did... Wait a minute. Well, I feel like that's a glitch of some kind. I'm not gonna question it. Uh, unless it, like, travels between accounts or something. That's very odd, but... For now... Don't care. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Later.